Hey, we are hearing from the National Transportation Safety Board, as I mentioned earlier, as they continue to investigate what caused this fire on the Dynamic International Airways jet. The NAL's Rachel Lado continues our team coverage for us today. She's joining us with what we're learning right now. Rachel. Shannon, the NTSB has a four person team in Fort Lauderdale right now investigating the fire involving a Dynamic International Airways jet. Now, just about an hour ago, I sat in this room right here in the feed room and listened as we heard from the NTSB for the first time since their arrival yesterday. Now, right now, the NTSB is looking into how the plane caught fire and if there was fluid coming from the plane, as some passengers stated. The team is also looking at aircraft systems and maintenance records. Was the plane worked on recently? The flight crew will be interviewed today to determine how they responded to the fire and if they responded the way they should to flight attendants. Senior NTSB investigator Timothy LeBaron says his team arrived on site today at noon and don't have a lot of information right now. We're here for safety. We're not here to point fingers. We're here to figure out what happened. And it's from tragedies like this particular one that we learn lots of information to make flying safer for the public. Now, LeBaron says he expects to have a preliminary report on what happened in five days. We can expect the factual reports in six months. And in a year, the NTSB will have determined probable cause. Shannon? Rachel, thank you.